What's up YouTube? My name is Squishy Spud and today we're going to take a look at Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, a Sony PlayStation 4 exclusive and the last in the series by Naughty Dog. We're going to cover five points, those being graphics, sound, gameplay, entertainment value and replayability. I don't give out number scores as I don't believe they are a fair and accurate way to rate how good a game is. Before we jump into the meat of the review, I must inform you of potential spoilers as the gameplay is from the last few chapters and I may let some important story slip. You've been warned, and also you may already know this from my channel size, but this is not a sponsored review. This is wholly my opinion, so take that as you may. Let's start with the graphics. What is there to say about the graphics? The game looks absolutely stunning from every angle. Everything looks real enough to touch, and the characters don't stand out from the scenery like they don't belong. Plant life reacts to Drake as it would in real life, and the lighting really brings to life the damp dark ruins you tend to traverse. Naughty Dog has opted for an in-game engine cutscenes, mostly, which definitely helps the gameplay and cutscenes to flow seamlessly. And don't worry if you're afraid the cutscenes might look choppy and lifeless, because every aspect of each character looks real throughout the whole experience. The single player experience plays out in a full 1080p, 30 frames per second, whereas the multiplayer runs at a lower 900p resolution, but opts for a stable 60 frames per second. If you want a detailed look into the graphical tech, check out Digital Foundry, link will be down below. Moving on to the sound, the voice acting is great, casting Nolan North as the voice of Nathan Drake, a seasoned voice actor who has voiced Nathan through the whole of the Uncharted franchise, and voice characters in other games such as Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Batman Arkham Origins, the Assassin's Creed franchise, and many, many more. And also introducing Nathan's brother, Samuel Drake, voiced by none other than Troy Baker, known more for his voice acting in The Last of Us, Far Cry 4, and Infamous Second Son. I thought that after we found Avery's treasure, I'd be satisfied. Uh -huh. Instead, I've uh, <laughs> kind of left with this strange feeling of emptiness. Yeah. Both Troy and Nolan have been voice acting in video games for a number of years, and their experience definitely shows. As seen in The Last of Us, Naughty Dog's ability to bring scenery to life with ambient sounds and dramatic music cues always adds to the joy of playing through their games. The peaceful serenity of abandoned landscapes interrupted by distant explosions help to further the immersion of a beautiful but dangerous open space. Uncharted 4's gameplay can be relaxing, allowing you to take a step back and think about how to get from point A to point B without, well, dying. The puzzles are challenging enough not to be dull, but easy enough to be accomplished after a little outside of the box thinking not to get annoying. Then all of a sudden there are enemies everywhere, but you can decide whether to run in guns blazing or take the stealthy approach using the cover system and tall plants to sneak up on unsuspecting shoreline militia. Action scenes can get really intense, and even when you're just climbing from point to point, all of a sudden the wooden bridge collapses or the ledge gives way, forcing you to come at the problem from a different angle. My playthrough took about 10 hours on the medium difficulty and allowed me to enjoy some action-packed gameplay, but also follow the story unflustered. As far as the entertainment value goes, the campaign was fantastic, and for a linear story, not too short. There's no leveling system in the Uncharted series though, so, well, the single-player Uncharted series, so for RPG fans you may want to give this a miss, but if you're a third-person cover-shooting story-based action puzzle games type of guy, then this is your game and it's worth every penny. And as far as replayability, is that a word? It sounds good. Replayability. It rolls off the, t sorry. Uh, as far as replayability, Charted 4 offers a full-fledged multiplayer experience, complete with unlockables and upgrades, and also an in-game currency that can be used to buy power-ups. It's a run and gun and cover and swing and shoot more multiplayer experience with a little bit of ancient relic -y magic. Sadly, the single player only offers replayability in regards to collecting all the little treasure pieces throughout the game. My final thought on Uncharted 4 is it's an amazing showcase of Naughty Dog's ability to tell a great story with fun and puzzling gameplay while pushing the PlayStation to its limits in terms of sheer beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. Oh yeah!
this is very nice, sir.